Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix kernel data in page error in Windows 11. The first solution that you should consider immediately is to use the startup repair. To do this proceed with doing a hard power off for three times in a row to boot the OS in recovery mode, then select troubleshoot, advanced options and lastly startup repair. If the system detects any issues, it will start fixing them. But if you get the message that Startup Repair couldn't repair your PC, then click on the Advanced Options button. You will then get back to the main screen. Select again Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and then in the new window click on Startup Settings. Next, click on Restart to boot the PC in safe mode. After the PC restarts in safe mode, check if the problem occurs again. If it doesn't, it means that a third-party software is causing this issue and you need to reinstall it. Then, if the issue persists, start the PC again in recovery mode. Select Advanced Options again from the main window, then select Uninstall Updates and roll back any recent update if you suspect that they caused this issue. And if the previous step doesn't solve the problem, you can also choose System Restore from the same menu and roll back your system to a previous restore point in time. Another solution could be to run a Check This Scan. Press the Windows button, then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In here, type the following command and press enter. Make sure to replace the letter you showed here with the one that corresponds with your system partition. You can also update or reinstall the disk driver. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the context list. In here, you have to expand the disk drives category, then right click the driver from the disk drives section and select the Update Driver option. In here, click on the Search automatically for Drivers option, and if the system finds any new drivers, it will install them. If not, you can also click on Search for Updated Drivers on Windows Update, which will redirect you to the Windows Update page that will automatically search for new updates and install them if any. Otherwise, you can also try reinstalling the disk driver by right-clicking it and then selecting the Uninstall Device option. Then you can just right-click on the Disk Drives category and select the Scan for Hardware Changes option that will reinstall the latest drivers. Another great solution could be to perform an SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. Then in the next window, type the following command and press Enter. Wait for the scan to complete the scanning process. And if there are any corrupted files, the tool will detect and repair them. And lastly, you can also set the paging system to automatic. To do this, open File Explorer, then right-click this PC on the left pane and then select the Properties option. In here, select Advanced System from the right pane, then hit the Settings button under the Performance section, then click on the Advanced tab and hit the Change button. Here, you just have to check the Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives box and click OK. And lastly, just restart your PC for the effects to take change. And that's it. Plenty of options to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.